Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. My final point tonight is short and sweet. It's a warning for our whole nation. If we sacrifice one of the greatest privileges we enjoy as Americans, the presumption of innocence until we're proven guilty, what do you think our country will be like in five years? Senator Dick Blumenthal and Senator Dick Durbin, both Democrats, both said today they believe Judge Kavanaugh's accuser, Christine Blasey Ford. She had not provided any evidence or any proof that substantiated her claims, yet they believed her. Remember, all four people besides Ford, whom Ford named at that party, all say the assault did not happen. The other girl at the party said she doesn't even know Brett Kavanaugh, let alone ever attending a party with him. Despite those questions, despite the fact that two other men have come forward and said they were the ones who assaulted Dr. Ford, not Brett Kavanaugh, why aren't Democrats interested in that? That seems like a pretty big deal to me. What if it's true? What if Kavanaugh's innocent? Never mind that, Democrats say. They believe Dr. Ford. So what happens if you're accused of sexual assault that you didn't do? Better question. Did anybody watching this video drink alcohol in college? Did anybody go to a college party? Can you vouch for everything that happened at every single party? Do you have a video of every moment, of every day, of your every move, so you can deny frivolous allegations somebody might make against you in the future? Is that the country you wanna live in? Where does it end? Who's the judge? What about microaggressions? What about hate speech? What about hate crimes? What if we live in a country where all somebody has to do to ruin your life is make an allegation that you triggered them? You committed microaggressions, they say. You said something that's hate speech, but they have no proof because you didn't do it. But it doesn't matter. You're dead because they made that allegation. This could touch every corner of our lives. This could destroy our families, our friends, our loved ones, and it sure as hell will destroy our system of justice if we don't put a stop to it. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show tonight, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.